then there is yet another space where it is a, a huge opportunity but we have to wait and see how this pans out and that is web3 and to explain in very simple uh, uh, languages just imagine that how often we are quite uh, annoyed with working with organizations which are faceless so when you travel an airline you don't get to see anybody as compared to one day you used to walk into the travel agent or walk into the airline's office in your downtown and you it missed somebody who would help you buy the ticket so if we are really annoyed of that kind of a space we are therefore moving into a very new arena called uh, decentralized or de de defi decentralized finance to begin with and this will probably go into all other aspects where uh, we will be able to be much more empowered in managing and controlling uh, our choices and preferences and making decisions around it which we feel empowered about and not influenced by say social media by uh, fake publicities or advertisements or um, oversold or undersold to us so that's again a very big big play it has like internet it has got its own challenges as well um but then you know internet over time has proved that it is much more beneficial to us than it has been a pitfall uh, so um uh, so so these will also um, have their own web3 will have its own challenges but that's clearly the way forward and in between these two if you see internet and web3 transition i think what will accelerate the transition is another very big opportunity which basically comes out of the crypto space that's again if you look at it it has really upset the whole uh, equilibrium and we haven't understood this very well every yeah. time there is a uh, uh, the, there is a devaluation of our currencies uh, like 20 years back when i had come to this country the monies that i used to spend uh, to buy a uh, us dollar today i probably spend um, almost uh, four times that money to buy the same us dollar so therefore that base currency i am referring to has uh, significantly devalued and the people who held on to that um, uh, base currency just compared to us dollar itself which is another plastic has devalued um, uh, more than 4x and us yeah. dollar has been printing if you see during uh, the post the dot com bubble bust they were printing about uh, 500 billion a year all the way now to covid now they are building uh, a trillion in a, in, in a year and and therefore we need to get to something because this madness has to stop somewhere we need yeah. to get to something which again makes our world flat so that when i go to ethiopia i don't have to look for how to pay the ethiopian taxi man who is driving me down from uh, the airport to my hotel so these are like the small things that can happen and you know the biggest thing about these are like they are all in open source mostly in open source and that's where that uh, that power in the hands of uh, the man on the street is there it's only for us to grab it